You may want to further individualise the sounds in your remix to make yours a little bit different to everybody else's. There's one of the loops, and I can now actually play this back. And then decide that I want to change the individual sound of that loop. So I click the little I button over there on the right, and you can see that there are lots of different groups of instruments. I choose a group, and then I choose an instrument over on the right hand side, and I can make it play back. Click continue if that dialog box comes up. So now it's going to play back using that instrument. Or I could try another one. There are literally hundreds of instruments included in GarageBand, so you can make your remix sound quite different to everybody else's by changing them. You can also get into the nitty gritty by clicking on the details button at the bottom and change something like, say, the echo applied. Or the reverb, which affects the size of the room that it sounds like the sound was recorded in. You can also make changes to the individual instrument. These pencil buttons down the right hand side allow you to go right into the settings. And now I'm making changes directly to the synthesizer. Finally, if you like, you can also add more effects to any individual instrument. Click on the drop down menu here to make to choose a new plugin. And once you've chosen that new plugin effect, you can use one of the presets and immediately have a listen to it and see what sort of difference it makes. It's easy.